What's going on, Lawn Care Nation? Richie Plums of Plums Lawn and Landscape. So, as you can tell, I'm pruning some shrubs today. Got this along the back, and about 40 or 50 of them along the front that we're going to do. So, get you guys a little footage of it and tell you guys about our giveaway we've got coming up. So, make sure you uh, watch the whole video. Check it out. <laughs> The back and forth Has got me so messed up Don't ignore The signs we've had enough Of the whole damn thing That we got going You hold the strings Without me knowing Why do I Have to suffer through the thinking Why do I Turned around, but I can't ignore the feelings that I found in this whole damn thing that we got going. You hold the strings without me knowing. Why do I have to suffer through the thinking? Why do I have the feeling that we're sinking? I need to find a way So I hope you enjoyed that little time lapse of our uh, doing the little pruning there. So we're getting that place ready for mulch. Uh, wanted to try to get it pruned a couple weeks ago, but uh, if you guys watched my last video, you notice how we're in a we were in a drought, real bad drought there. We hadn't had rain in about six or seven weeks, and everything was just dying. It was just choking it out. Portion of that lawn is irrigated, so it stayed pretty green. But didn't want to. We were kind of holding off pruning any of the shrubs. Just simply, we wanted to make sure that. Uh, that it uh, was wet enough that it just wasn't so dry and, and hot and just frying those plants when we cut into them. So we, uh, we let it uh, get wet. And so uh, got rain started last week, uh, Wednesday afternoon, I think it was. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday we got rain. So we got some much needed rain. Of course, we get it all at one time instead of uh, spread out like we'd like for it to be. But hey, it's either raining or not raining, right? Uh, but anyway guys uh, big news we went over the 5,000 subscriber mark so we will be doing a giveaway and uh, some of the people who are going to sponsor this giveaway is sure can we're giving away a uh, 
five gallon sure can we're giving away a all-american sharpener all-american sharpeners uh wanting to give away uh help us with it and we're going to give away one of their uh 5005 series sharpeners uh, the only thing you'll have to get then will be a uh, angle grinder but other than that you're going to have the sharpener uh, working a couple of other uh, things to try to see if uh, a few other people want to join in but uh, we know of those two definitely and we're also going to be giving away a flag so uh, uh, one of the rustic wooden flags you guys have seen me make in the past uh, we are going to give one of those away too it seems like that's a, a big thing everybody likes to get so uh, we're going to give one of those away as well. Uh, details as far as how you can win this giveaway. Uh, number one, you need to be a subscriber. Uh, we need you to be a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, then you know I can't really give it to you. So, uh, you know, if you're going to support the channel, I want to support you guys and give back to you. So, uh, we're going to give away that stuff. Make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. Leave me a comment uh, in this video down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know you want in on this. Uh, everybody that comments and is subscribed make sure you give it a thumbs up if you don't like it thumb it down twice uh, so that way you guys can get in on it and also um, if you ain't following us on Instagram check us out on Instagram go over and follow us on that Plymouth Lawn Care on uh, Instagram follow us over there as, uh, as that's growing too I think we're a little over 5300 followers now on Instagram uh, still got Waylon with me Waylon's still working He's over here about ready to fall asleep. I think I've wore him out today. We're at uh, about 10 hours right now. We still got about four or five more to go. So he's, he's, he's probably gonna have to have someone come pick him up and take him home. He's gonna be tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about. Uh, in case you've noticed, I don't do a, you've, you've not seen me mowing a lot of overgrown lawns this year. Uh, not just simply because of the rain, but because we done away with bi-weekly customers. Uh, we have enough work now that uh, we prefer our customers to be on a weekly schedule, uh, set up on a monthly service agreement or contract system is how we do it. Um, we don't, we, we quit offering one-time mows. Uh, you get that phone call, people are like, hey, can you come mow it? My mower's broke down, I'm sorry, we don't offer that. And, and it doesn't work for me, not saying it don't work for you guys, but it doesn't work for me simply because we have a very busy schedule week in and week out. Uh, we don't have time to just stop right in the middle of a route and go mow one yard. If, I mean, it would be different if it, I guess it was on our routes, but 90% of the one-time mows are usually way out of route, and so we just don't offer it anymore. Uh, so do you guys offer service agreement or contracts for year-round customers on a weekly basis? Or do you guys still do the uh, pay me as I come, no contracts, none of that um, kind of deal? The uh, reason why we offer that is simply because uh, we want all of our customers on a service agreement. If there's any kind of issues down the road that says, well, we, we paid for this or we paid for that, then we've got it right there in that service agreement stating what you're paying for and what, what is additional out-of-scope work. Uh, you know, there's, there's always going to be that additional stuff that people want. And, and that's totally fine to do that extra work for them, but uh, you gotta, you got to build accordingly. Um, so now that uh, everything is set up on service agreements and contracts, we know exactly what we're going to make each month, uh, right down to the penny. We know exactly what that month's going to pay uh, before we even get there. Uh, so it, it just helps to, you know, budget out your bank accounts, budget out your money to where you know what you can and can't afford in a business, uh, knowing where your payroll's coming from. You're not guessing whether this guy wants you to mow this week or not mow this week. If, if they're on a service agreement and they call and say, hey, don't mow this week, it's too dry. That's fine. You're still going to get billed the same at the end of the month, whether we mow or whether we don't, uh, because the next time we come, we're going to have to do double the work anyway. So that's something that we... Uh, we started doing a couple of years ago and slowly gotten rid of the customers that weren't on the agreement that uh, now everybody's on a service agreement. And, uh, and it did bother some customers, but for the most part, uh, they all hung in there and, and stayed with me. The ones that weren't on service agreements are now on service agreements. Uh, they were more than happy to. It did, you know, a lot of people say, well, you're gonna lose a lot of customers that way. And honestly, I lost one. I lost one customer that did not want to be on a service agreement. The rest of them were totally fine with it. They understood we are a business. We're not just out here, uh, Joe Smo with a lawnmower just going door to door. I mean, we're actually, uh, we're a legit business. Uh, so, but anyway, guys, 
I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I know there wasn't a whole lot of video of doing stuff, but uh, I just wanted to make a quick video, let you know about the giveaway, and ask you guys about your contracts and service agreements. Are you guys offering or are you not offering? Um, either way, it, it's totally up to you. It's your business and you, and you run it the way you wanna run it. Don't, uh, don't think that I'm telling you you should or should not run your business the way you do because only you know how your business needs to be ran. Um, anyway, guys, make sure you like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.